Upon perusing one of our many peer-reviewed source books, ancient infrastructures, remarkable roads, mines, walls, mounds, and stone circles compiled by William R. Corliss, containing, like his other many research books, hundreds of unexplainable, inexplicably mind-bending ancient anomalies, we stumbled across a most peculiar of ancient peculiarities, that of the so-called rocking stones. There are many demonstrations of this curious practice documented at sites dated to the Pleistocene era, found among ruins attributed to a primitive people, a people whom, although often making rudimentary shelters, would incorporate into them stones often weighing many tons. Any explanation as to why or indeed how these stones were chosen and then often set aloft with seeming ease predictably remains elusive. The descriptions by first explorers of these rocking rocks, according to Corliss, were in the hundreds and were documented in vast locations, yet they were mostly isolated to modern-day Britain. Quote, Most rocking stones are to be found in areas once covered by Pleistocene ice sheets. British and American journals of the 17 and 1800s describe scores of rocking stones, yet they are virtually absent from professional publications past the 1900s. Thus, discussions of this phenomenon have been confined to amateur archaeological circles. Corliss continues, Rocking stones are large stones, often weighing many, many tons. Yet they were somehow once perfectly balanced, with an average-sized adult human being able to push and pull the stone with ease by hand." End quote. How did they once balance such enormous stones? Intriguingly, we feel that this is a mystery that is indeed possible to unravel, as a curious individual of the modern age once secretly did exactly this. Yet, infuriatingly, his explanation as to how died with him, either as a secret or, like so many others we have researched, his work covered up shortly after his passing. Known as Coral Castle, it was a place made from multi-ton megaliths, made of ancient corals, each either set aloft many meters in the air or perfectly balanced somehow all by this lone individual, one who is known as Edward Leedskalnen. The most interesting and interactive of spectacles at Edward's self-proclaimed castle is the nine-ton rotating door, which, as the name suggests, spins on its axis, made from a coral stone weighing nine tons, yet balanced perfectly, just like the ancient rocking stones. We have also covered the other remarkable case of the gentleman from America, who could and was recorded moving enormous objects, even an entire barn, simply by rolling them on small pebbles. Yet the reason to, or as to how pre-Ice Age man made these rocking stones, remains unexplained. Yet thanks to Corliss's tireless correlations, we also know that all these rocking stones are found in locations which also contain ancient dolmens. Thus, we know that the same civilization were responsible, yet who these people once were is a question which we will continue to find highly compelling.